Hi, this is Richard McKenzie. Uh, this module is about donor exploitation or how the recipient of gifts from a donor uh, can, can get the donor to give more in the way of gifts than the donor would uh, freely choose uh, to give. We can illustrate uh, the method that can be used with reference to a, a supply and demand uh, curve. Our demand curve is fairly uh, normal, consistent with demand curves in the past. We assume that there is a downward sloping demand for, for giving gifts. That is, if the price of the gift goes down, uh, then donors uh, would be willing to give more in the way of gifts. We, for, simpli for purposes of simplifying the analysis, we have assumed that the supply curve is horizontal. This means that the marginal cost of giving additional units uh, of the gift is, is constant. It means that uh, uh, people can buy units of this gift uh, at a constant price of, of P1. And this is fairly descriptive of markets like candy. Uh, an individual can buy as many boxes of candy at the going market price as, as uh, the individual wants uh, to. Now we can reason that the uh, donor will extend his, his or her gifts to the recipient uh, so long as the additional value indicated by the m demand curve is greater than the additional uh, cost indicated by uh, the uh, supply curve. The donor is willing to give this first uh, unit of a gift uh, primarily because in giving that first unit uh, the donor incurs a price of, of P1 but gets a marginal value of uh, something much higher say the price of the box of candy is $10, the donor gets maybe $14 or $15 in, in, in value. The donor gains uh, this much uh, in additional benefit. On the second unit, the donor gains uh, this much because the marginal value is up on the demand curve, the marginal cost is still P1, and the difference is between those. As gifts are extended, the uh, the net gain to the donor uh, diminishes, and is it, the gain to the donor is zero at a quantity of uh, Q1. Now, it, we can therefore as assume that the total gains of the donor are equal to the net gains on each individual gifts from zero units uh, up to Q1. Or the net gain uh, to the donor is going to be equal to P1 A. Uh, B, that triangular area. Now the question is, can the donor uh, get the uh, recipient, I mean, can the recipients uh, get the recipient get the donor to give more than quantity Q1? Well, if the recipient asks for a quantity of a Q2, uh, the donor can reason, well, the marginal cost of each of these units beyond Q1 is greater than the marginal value, and as a consequence, the donor loses that little triangular area, we can call that C, uh, B, C, uh, D. Uh, the donor would not freely choose to move uh, to a quantity of uh, Q2. Now there is a way in which the recipient uh, can, in fact, get Q2. Uh, it involves what we call uh, in economics an all or nothing deal. That is the recipient can say to the donor, uh, I will take Q2 or nothing at all. If in fact the, the donor can, uh, does not give anything at all, the donor is reduced to giving gifts equal to zero, which means that the donor loses this triangle P1A uh, B. So the donor is, is caught in a bind. Uh, if uh, the donor chooses to give nothing at all, then, then the donor loses that entire triangle. If the donor chooses to give Q2, uh, then the donor gains the triangle P1A B, loses on the triangle BC uh, D. Uh, on balance, the donor hasn't maximized uh, his or her welfare, but certainly has done better than giving nothing at all. So if there's an all or nothing deal opposed, uh, then the donor can be expected to give Q2, but only so long as the donor does not have uh, alternative uh, recipients to whom he or she uh, can turn to play out uh, his or her charitable affection. If in fact there are many donors, I mean many recipients, the donor can simply say to the 
to the person making the all or nothing deal. Uh, I will give you nothing at all, and I can recover triangle uh, P1A uh, B by simply turning to one of the other um, uh, uh, recipients. Well, of course, the uh, the recipient is going to try to uh, get a position with the donor such that he or she is the only uh, recipient. And if that's the case, then the donor in his or her own mind uh, can do nothing better than to give Q2. In fact, in such a case, uh, the recipient uh, can ask for uh, Q3. And the donor is going to have to concede to an all or nothing deal, that is so long as the all or nothing deal is made uh, with some care. Uh, simply because this much larger triangle is still smaller than this um, than this much larger uh, uh, triangle. And by the way, this um, larger triangle has a special name. It's called uh, consumer uh, surplus. Now, I said that the all-or-nothing deal uh, has to be made by care because if it's made in a crass manner, which depreciates the value that the donor's attributes to given to the recipient, then the demand curve that the donor faces can in fact fall, in which case the donor would, would freely choose uh, to give uh, zero uh, units. Well, assuming the all or nothing deal is made with some tech, uh, Q2, Q3 can be extracted, so can Q4. Uh, in fact, the donor can ask for the equivalent of two times uh, Q1. Uh, which just eyeballing it uh, looks like uh, Q4, which is equal to 2 times uh, Q1. Uh, and the reason is that so long as uh, Q1 to Q4 is uh, less than uh, Q1, uh, this triangle here uh, is going to be less than uh, P1, A, B. Now, I know the way I've drawn it, there's this much larger triangle out in this area looks bigger, but the point is uh, that the recipient is going to try to ask for a, a quantity whereby this triangle to the right is just shy of the triangle uh, to the left. That would be the optimum amount uh, that, um, uh, that the recipient should be expected to ask for, just shy of what uh, 2 times Q1 uh, is. Now, this uh, line of analysis is important uh, in business. If businesses uh, 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 buy supplies from, a, from one supplier and the business is tied into that supplier, uh, that business can, in fact, gain a, a surplus of value uh, from buying uh, the optimum quantity Q1. Well, if the, if the business sees no other supplier, then the supplier is in a, in a position to offer an all or nothing deal, that is, to move the supplier, I mean, the buyer beyond uh, Q1. So managers need to uh, be mindful of the ability of uh, suppliers to exploit them, um, that is, to drain uh, the consumer surplus.